Can you go anywhere without people recognizing you? Like in Denver, I know you'd be recognized a lot. Uh, I get recognized a lot. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's not the glasses. A, I mean, not as much as some people, but <laughs> right. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> no, I'm no, embarrassed. No, so, I don't okay. know. So, so monumental time in history. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for, because of you, my mom raised me stronger. Oh, good. You know, like it was just everything you did. One of the things when I was watching the movie that I just irked me and was under my skin was how they had the Howard Cosell tapes running. Wasn't that great how they got that? It was amazing though. You I know loved how hard it. it is to get that from the family. Yeah. Oh. Oh. John, really? I yes. didn't know that. No, they didn't usually even let you hear oh. audio. Okay. So John, you know, Jonathan Dayton and Valerie Ferris, the directors, knew that was really important, mm -hmm. and they got it. It was so important. And then they, and then they superimposed uh, uh, Natalie. When he said, when you were playing really good, when Howard said she's playing a lot more like a man now. Thank you. It's just, I mean, really. Uh, right. And so, I mean. I mean I, that means good. So. <laughs> oh, it does so, mean oh, good? Oh, it means good. It means okay. I'm strong and I can do it and all that. But okay. no, I'm a woman who happens at that time at least was strong. And, <laughs> so it know. didn't bother you. That it was bothers me, but it doesn't. We have to change that. Semantics are powerful. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to get it right. Right, because it stopped playing like a girl. Play well, it's more like, like, oh, I could, yeah, uh, here's what happens with, with guys all the time. Oh, you know. Uh, I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't, you know, like, I could throw like my grandmother. Why not your grandfather? Right. You're a boy. Right, right, right. Hello? That, totally. Oh, there's so many things that under, that really try to get under everyone's skin in a way and make us feel less. Mm -hmm. And we have to feel that we're, you know, every human being needs to be respected. It doesn't matter what gender, it doesn't matter, okay? And that's just what everyone should do for each other, is respect each other. Why has it taken so long for people to catch on? No, it's just fact? it's going to <laughs> because every generation has to start the um, evolution over. Mm -hmm. They have to work hard. Um, Coretta Scott King talks about the late Coretta Scott King talks about that every generation has to win freedom over and over again. It's the same with equality. We're not there yet. We have to keep working at it. But the millennials and the the Gen Z or Z Gen or whatever. They are the best generations ever to, for inclusion. Yes. And that's where this, this movie, The Battle of the Sexes, and the great job that everybody did. I mean, Emma Stone, I'm so lucky. I mean, how lucky am I to have Emma Stone? Come on. She's if you fantastic. told me when I was 12 years old, you're going to have the best actress in the world play you. What? <laughs> no, what, are you, what are you talking about? And then Steve Carell captured Bobby Riggs and the essence. But this movie captures the essence of the times on and off the court. It's a very, you know, our complex lives, Bobby's and mine with my sexuality off the court. There's a lot there for people to see. This isn't just a little tennis match you're going to watch. It's, there's a lot of social change going on. Uh, no, title, was, title IX had been passed in 72. So this is really, I think, uh, I hope this, this movie, The Battle of the Sexes, will be really relevant. But everyone did a wonderful job. They did. And, they, of course, she would play you. You're like the... Are you you're kidding? The, That's a risk. The, you're the ish.